DIY video, we're going to be doing something amazing. Sophie is joining me today. That's right, isn't it amazing? Yes. As you may see by the title of this video, we are making a sign for your bedroom door. That's right. So first, you will need a piece of paper, um, as you can see here, yes. And you'll also need markers and letter stickers. Yes. It's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you can use them to write welcome to whatever room or whatever, so you can even use the stickers if you want. True. So let's demonstrate. Yes. All right. So I'm about to add the O and two, um, which is going to be a bit hard when I'm holding a camera. So yeah, you can use letter stickers to write welcome to if you want, or if you'd rather handwrite, that's great too. Now, Sophie is going to use one of her markers to write Sophie's room. That's right. So, yeah, um, here I go. I know, I got the worst handwriting in the world, don't I? <laughs> so, yes. This says, welcome to Sophie's room in um, stickers and marker. That's right, the sign bar. looks great, but it needs more, don't you think? That's right, Jeremy. Did you know that you can put more stuff on the sign? And that can be your favorite things. They can be from a magazine or online using sticker paper. For example, I got this Queen magazine at Walgreens, and I'm going to cut out Brian May's face and put it on the sign. That's right, ba -ba! So, you'll need scissors to cut out the faces if you're a queen fan like I am. So, that's what I'm going to do. That's right. Bar. Alright, now I have cut out Brian May's face. So, I'm going to tape it on. Yeah, bar doesn't work, I'll have to try and find glue, but you can use glue or tape if you want. True, but bar <laughs> Here I go, taping Brian May. Alright, so since I used clear tape, that way I can see Brian a bit, because Brian is awesome. I know, but bar but you know what? You can even use the sticker paper to print out your favorite things. Stickers. You don't have to use stickers from a sticker book. Yeah. I think we might need some stickers. I agree. Beba! <gasps> wow, we have the stickers. Yep, we sure do. And these are mostly some of my favorite things, such as Polly, Brother and Sister, even Gigi the Unicorn, which I accidentally cut, but I'll try to get her on there. Okay, bye bye. So let's get sticking to it. Well, it's actually looking good. Sure is. Bye bye. So let me put this bunny sticker like right here maybe? And then maybe I'll just put it right here. There. That's good. It sure is, but bar Hey, somebody's coming. Hey, I know these two very well. Yeah, I do too. Well, hello there, Dangler. Hello, Simone. Hi. Hola. We were just doing a DIY video of making a sign for Sophie's room. Oh, cool. We have ideas for stickers, too. Really? Are they your favorite things? Yeah. See. Well, tell me what they are, and we'll lay them out for you. I like neck pillows. I like pizza. All right, then. Why don't we just lay out the stickers for them? Yeah. Pizza. Pizza. 
Okay, Dangler, here's your neck pillow. Awesome! And, Simone, here's your pizza. Delicioso! Why don't we put the stickers on? See? Si. Yeah! Okay. Wow! This sign looks awesome. It sure does. All right, now we gotta hang it somewhere. On the door of your room, that is. That's right. Yay! Wow, did you know that Sophia lives in two different places? It's true. Now, we're going to hang up the sign. Yes. If you have tacks, you can do that, or if you have tape, you can do that too. But I'm going to hang it up on the door to my room. So, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> And there you have it, how to make your own sign for your room. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you can try this out at home. Goodbye. Goodbye. Adios. This has been a Melanie Sambu production. Bye.